Okay, we are back, and this is day two of our Dragonfly art project. All right, now your glue has already dried here. Now mine is still has a little few more bits that still need to dry, but yours should be all dry, and as you can see, the glue is nice and clear now. And so we are going to start coloring in with our chalk pastels. All right, chalk pastels are really nice. Um, they're a bit messy, as you can see. They kind of, they came right off on my finger right there, but that's okay. Um, art is fun when it is messy. And if you don't like mess on your hands, you will get to wash your hands after we're done. So anyway, let's go ahead and start coloring in our dragonfly. Now you can choose whatever colors you want. I'm going to start with yellow. I'm gonna color in the body yellow and remember I said the the glue bits just kind of create a nice little border so you've got little nice little areas in here to color so I'm going to color my dragonfly yellow now I like to mix colors so we get more than one color I'm going to get some yellow in there now if you want to use blending tools to kind of blend it you can, but it, it kind of takes some of the color away when you do that. Some some students kind of like that look. Um, so if you do and you want to use that, by all means, go ahead. Um, so there is my body. Now I think wings. I'm going to do the same thing with wings. I'm going to start with yellow. And I am going to add, for my wings, I'm going to add some white in there. And I'm gonna kind of draw in, you know how some of those um, dragonflies and other insects, you can kind of see through their wings. You can see the veins through their wings. So I'm gonna kind of draw that in there. All right, maybe I'll put in a little pink as well. Well, it's not really showing up. These are new. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna kind of move on here. Um, I'm gonna go down to the tail, and I'm going to start some of the, the water. Now you're just gonna fill in, fill in these spaces here. Like I said before, I like to add more than one color. I'm gonna get some yellow in there too. All right, and I am going to, I'm gonna leave the rest of that. I'm gonna come back to that in a little while. I'm gonna start getting some water in here. If you wanna blend with your fingers, some people like to blend with their fingers a little bit. If you want it more, um, a bit smoother than, than the raw chalk pastel there, that's up to you. Okay, I'm getting some water in here. Now, I like to, like I said before, I like to blend colors. So I'm going to get some turquoise in there as well. I'm going to get some turquoise and maybe blend some of that in a little bit. All right, I'm going to keep moving here a little bit. Okay, my, my um, lily pads here. These are both two little lily pads I've got going on here. Again, I like different shades in there. To get some yellow, give it a little change of value in there. Okay, and I'm gonna keep going with my water here. Now, I'm going to yeah, remember. So that's, that's the raw chalk. If you wanna blend it with your finger, or blend it with the tool, you are certainly welcome to do that. All right, and we're just gonna keep working on this. Um, I'm going to pause for a little bit. I'm going to finish it up so you don't have to watch me finish the whole thing. And then I'll see you in a minute. All right, now there is sort of my finished product there. Now, um, 
I've taken some time and, and finished working on it there. So just a few little tips here. So um, if you, so here are his legs. Um, if you find that you've accidentally drawn a colored over, um, all you have to do is rub the glue bit and the chalk will come right back off. All right, now I decided to do um, a green background here. Now, if you aren't doing any um, background um, glue, glue bits like this, um, then you still need to do, um, create a background color at least. It can be um, all one color, it can be different colors, it's totally up to you, all right? But we're not going to use any black, leave any black in the background, we're going to, um, color it all. All right, and you can see now, after I've colored it all in, how this glue border um, comes out really nice. All right, now I just used um, some white in here in my water to just kind of make some sparkles. Don't be afraid to use lots of different kinds of colors. All right, that's something the Impressionist artists Monet and, and um, they use lots of colors places and it just really makes your artwork um, that much more interesting. All right, now I probably would wanna do something more in the background. You can blend with your finger, you can blend with a blending tool, or you can just leave it the way uh, the raw chalk. It's up to you. Um, another quick tip as well, if you put your chalk back in the container um, as you're finished with each one, you'll be sharing these with other, um, other students. So that way they can find the colors easily. If they're all over the table, it's hard to find the colors they need. So let's try to remember to put our chalk back um, as we're working. And there we go. Um, there is our finished picture. All right. All right. And there is the finished project. So when you are all finished, I want you to take a good look at it again. Just spend a minute or two just looking at it and see if there's anything else you want to do to it. Do you want to add more? You know what, I think I wanna add a little bit of other colors in here, maybe purple, maybe tie in some of this purple that I have going on in the eyes and maybe just kind of get some some purple you know so just kind of take some time looking at it before you feel like you're finished just to see if there's anything else you would like to do to it all right when you feel like you are done you've given you've given it a good look and you feel satisfied then what i want you to do before you uh, wash your hands come to me and I'm going to have um, a spray fixative or hairspray something like that it's a spray bottle um, and it's we're going to spray your picture and that's going to set the chalk a little bit okay it won't be perfect but it, it, it helps set it a little bit then what you're going to do I'm going to give you a piece of paper like this and we're going to put it inside the paper and that will keep your paper protected from other chalk, um, other people's projects. And also when you put it into your art portfolio later, it will protect your other projects from the messy chalk. All right, and then I will, we're gonna write our name, write your name on your folder. So that way we can find it later. All right, and then I will hang on to this I want you then to go back to your table, um, stack your chalk pastels, your materials, all, all the materials back where you found it, in the middle of your table. All right, then my materials masters will collect those at the end of the class, then go wash your hands, clean up your table, and then you are all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you had fun. I had fun teaching it to you. All right, see you later.